They call him Sonny. He's lived in the jungle for six months. That's my home. I'm not leaving. <laughs> City can't do it now. They're, they're going after my home. So that, I'm protecting my home. They're the enemy. As the homeless and their supporters marched in from one end of the jungle, police officers and city demolition crews waited at the other. One side had a mission. The other had a job. We're going to need some more officers here. They're going to drag me out of here. I ain't walking. You'll be offered the opportunity to leave willingly. If you do not leave, you'll be arrested for criminal trespass. Again, you have three minutes to leave the area. And so those of us who don't want to get arrested are going to go hey, across. Those, those who are going to risk arrest, stay here. And, and we'll support you. We'll be at the jail to get you out as quickly as possible. I can't resist. I'll, I am following the teachings of Thoreau and Jesus Christ, and I intend to treat these officers respectfully, as long as they treat me respectfully. Okay, sir, we gave you an opportunity to leave. Would you like to leave again? Would you like us to escort you out, sir? Under arrest. Okay, so you're under arrest for trespassing? Got anything to say, John? One by one, they were taken out. A few walked. Most didn't. To destroy people's homes when there's a housing crisis in Seattle. Use the money for affordable housing. It could be you! It could be you next! Some had already been there. The city hired these former homeless people to help clean up the camps. A few of them cried as they went in to do the job. As they went in, Sonny was taken out. Taking me out of here alive! I'm coming back! I am coming back! Hey, Phil, you want to go stand here?